In just about three hours now, we should find out if the Bosque in Albuquerque and Bernalillo County will be completely open again soon. Firefighters talked about this yesterday and plan to make an announcement about it this morning at Tingley Beach. In fact, that's where News 13's David Romero is right now. David, any idea what they're going to talk about? Well, Matt, it could go either way. Restrictions could remain in place or they could be lifted altogether. The real answer lies in what moisture levels will show officials. Now, recent rains have cooled down the air temperatures and given much needed moisture to the metro area. Still, some wonder whether it's enough to let the guard down and people back into the bosque unrestricted. Two weeks ago, at the height of the heat and dry spell, parts of the Albuquerque Bosque were closed off. Now, just yesterday, city and county fire officials poured over the decision to reopen or keep the Bosque closed. We do our own evaluations of the land and what we believe is best for ensuring the safety of our visitors and the, uh, the safety of, of the Bosque. Now, the only parts of the Bosque that are and have been open are the paved and obvious dirt trails. Matt, back to you. All right, thank you, David. We'll be interested to see what those firefighters talk about today. The Bosque is still closed completely in Socorro, Valencia, and Sandoval counties, and right now they have no plans there to reopen it. Elizabeth? It is a chilling confession. Detectives say a young father describes how they say he murdered his 10 month old baby, and now we have the confession tape. Check it out. Today, I got pushed over the edge, and I didn't want him to become her new daddy. On tape, Christopher Rain says the breaking point was when his girlfriend told him she was going to leave him for another man. That's when he apparently grabbed his gun and pointed it at the baby. It was all, okay, fine. It was during a card game, and that's when I was all boom. And Ashley screamed. She screamed loud. I said, Was it worth it, Ashley? Was it worth it? Very disturbing there. Rains was supposed to plead guilty last August to the murder in front of Judge Pat Murdoch. But as we told you earlier this week, several cases have now been delayed since Murdoch left the bench after being accused of raping a prostitute. Now, Rains's case has now been assigned to a no judge. A former New Mexico sheriff's deputy is set to make his first appearance today in court after investigators say he was caught on dash cam video beating a man. Detectives say former San Juan County Sheriff Deputy Dale Frazier is seen on video beating a 23-year-old Farmington man last year with a flashlight. Frazier was fired shortly after the incident. He's now charged with unlawful assault with a deadly weapon, or dangerous weapon, I should clarify. Frazier could face up to 10 years in prison if convicted. The man accused of raping his girlfriend's one year old baby is still in jail this morning without the plea deal he was expecting. Both the prosecution and the defense had agreed to let Ralph Maestas plead no contest to rape and child abuse charges and get sentenced to 30 years in prison. But yesterday, Judge Sam Winder rejected the deal and refused to explain why. Maestas is now set to go to trial this fall and could get life in prison. An accused child killer who was on the run for more than six years is waking up at the state penitentiary in Santa Fe this morning. Noe Torres pled not guilty in court in Clovis yesterday after investigators say he shot and killed Carlos Perez, a 10-year-old boy, while he was sleeping back in 2005. Torres was arrested in Mexico earlier this year and extradited to the U.S. this week, something Carlos's aunt has been waiting a long time to see. You know, people say that um, time heals it all in it. You know, it and it gets better with time, but it really doesn't. He'll have his day in court, and um, his, his time will come. Curry County's district attorney wants Torres to go to trial by the end of this year. Albuquerque police are investigating a report about something strange that happened on the highway. Albuquerque police say a woman told them a stray bullet came through her car window yesterday afternoon as she was driving west on I-40 near the Big Eye. Now, she was not hurt. Police say it appears to be a random act at this point.